and uh, I'm going to show you an alternative uh, method to help control arthritis. Uh, it's called apitherapy honeybee stems. Uh, my wife, who doesn't wish to be photoed, uh, we'll just call her the stinger. Uh, we put the bees in the refrigerator and get them kind of comatose, and then uh, my wife takes the bee and, and gets pair of hemostats, and she, uh, I tell her where I want to be stung, and she stings me there. Uh, I guess we're ready as soon as the bee's ready. It's warming up now, and I'm going to start with my knee in this case, and uh, as soon as it's ready, I'm going to have my wife uh, stick me here with that, and what she does is she puts the butt, down, the butt of the bee down until it stings me. And then you got to leave the stings in for 20, 20 minutes so that uh, all the venom gets in there. They don't really like to sting you because they die when they do, and I, I feel very badly about that. But um, I do apologize to them. Um, these girls have done me a lot of good in the time that I was able to access these. Um, just starting back this year, this is the second stinging that I've had this, uh, this spray. Um, I developed a very bad case of uh, psoriatic arthritis uh, well over a year ago and none of the medicines that they gave me did me any good. Matter of fact, they were harming me and I was kind of running out of alternatives until a friend of mine told me about this and I made a trip to uh, uh, Franklin and a guy over there showed and his wife showed me how to do this and we've been doing it ever since. Um, I, have, I will be getting stings on my hands and my feet and actually in my right knee. Um, just want to show you that there is an alternative to some of the medicines out there if you can't handle those. We have to wait a minute. I was taking uh, several drugs. Uh, one of them was called methotrexate, which I was taking injections and it uh, upset my stomach so badly that uh, I lost my appetite. Um, I was ready to uh, uh, throw up by every time I ate. Um, I was actually this summer, uh, while, while the bee stings were kicking in, I was still taking the methotrexate. Um, I was so sick that I was going to bed from two to five hours a day after I got up and ate breakfast, sometimes twice a day because I just, I was that sick. And uh, I quit the methotrexate at the end, of, about the third weekend in June. I, my stomach never straightened up until it was time for me to go back to teaching uh, in August. And uh, by then the bee stings had helped me quite a bit. And I was able to resume my job, which I wasn't sure I was actually going to be able to do until I started this therapy. A couple of the other drugs they gave me, prednisone, put me in, in the emergency room one, one Saturday night. I had to quit taking it. Uh, and uh, right now I'm still taking Plaquenil, which is a, a mild uh, a drug that uh, hasn't affected me at this point in time. I did that throughout the winter because, of course, I couldn't get any bee stings in. And uh, if this really takes off and starts turning me around like it did last year, I'll be quitting that medicine also, just to see. Uh, but uh, I managed to make it all the way through the winter. My hands slowly got progressively worse uh, after my first stinging last week, and my feet actually were, were getting pretty bad too, especially my right one. After the stinging last week, uh, that was the best my feet had felt for uh, well over a month, maybe two months. So overall, so far, this uh, since we started this, it, it appears like it's, it's still working pretty well. Okay, we're still trying to get this one to sting. And I believe it just got me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know when they get you. Yeah. Oh, man, is that thing kicking in. Ow. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, they, they, uh, there is a uh, high level of pain with this when you're doing it, uh, but that eventually goes away. And basically you're trading a couple hours of pain for um, weeks worth of relief. 
from the arthritis. <laughs> oh, now you have to leave these in again for 20 minutes because there is the stinger itself has a little sack on it and that sack pumps and continues to put in the uh, venom. Okay. okay, got the first one down. And we're getting ready for the second one. My wife just went in and checked the ones that are in the refrigerator. And I'm uh, gonna put some more in uh, as we need them. I'm gonna do about 13 stings today. Two in my knee, uh, two or three in this foot, in my right foot, at least one in my left foot, and several in my hands. Now these are all uh, female bees. Um, I, I'm learning a little bit about this as I go along from the guy I'm getting the bees off of. He has his own uh, hives and he sells honey uh, throughout the winter. Um, and the females that we have live approximately 23 days uh, and then they die. I keep hoping that all the ones that I get are on like day 22 and a half or something like that so that I'm not really taking much life away from them because again I, I do feel badly about doing, taking this life but it's done me so much good I, I actually have to do it. Um, desperate times call for desperate measures. Okay, still not ready yet. We let them get pretty cold. We probably should have took them out a little bit earlier. Huh? That one's not any better, is it? Okay. This may take a few more minutes. <coughs> I right, just like maybe back in here. Yeah, it's in there, okay. So far, not too bad. Um, it's picking up a little bit. Okay, it's picking up quite a bit. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, and what, wow, is that one close, or do you, okay. Oh, I'm gonna go in the bottom of my feet. Right foot, um, let's see here. Uh, let's go with like, right there approximately. Uh, these tend to be the worst on the bottom of your feet, but they tend to help me more than, I've tried on top and they don't work quite as well. Okay. It's the anticipation sometimes that kills you. <laughs> oh God! Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, those you can really feel. Oh. Ah. Oh, ah. get this up. You can see the stinger in there. I've got a couple in my knee. I also did want to show you what my hands look like right now. Uh, let me back up a little bit. I don't know if you can see real well, but they're rather swelled up. And this one's basically about the same. Uh, kind of look ugly right now. Um, Later on, of course, they will be swelled up way more than this from the bee stings themselves. Uh, that generally lasts about two days. Uh, also, when I first started this, I kind of backed off after uh, the first time last summer because the itching um, was extremely bad the first time that I got it, within hours after I got my stings. Uh, and I didn't know if I could handle going through that, to be honest with you. Um, and then, uh, so I waited a good week and a half, maybe a little bit more. But uh, the second time I went through the stingings, I finally got back to it. And uh, I only had a little bit of an itch. And now I get very little. Um, so that is no longer a problem. Uh, okay. We've got another one ready. I'm going to get this one on the bottom of my foot also. I'm just debating on whether to put three in this one or just go. I think I'm just going to go with two. We'll have to see. Okay, back like in here. All right. Oh, it did now. Oh, one shot. Ah. Oh, dead. oh, geez. Ah, ah they are dead. slightly painful. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, okay, 317 instead of 315, oh, 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 ah, let's see, we have 13, that's 245, that's 8, Let's go with, I'll uh, tell you what, dear, I'm going to do one more on this one. I need it underneath this big toe. Okay. <sighs> oh! Oh! Whoo! Oh! 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 Whoo! <sighs> it's dying down a little bit. Well, it was. <laughs> oh! Oh! Ah, uh, oh, uh, oh. Whew. okay, uh, some people obviously would not be able to tolerate this, but if you're, uh, if you have no other options, uh, it's worth a try. You should make sure that you're not allergic to bees, uh, honeybees things for starters. And yeah, somebody that would actually test you for that. Um, I was tested twice, uh, but I also keep an EpiPen right here just in case. And the phone's nice and close, but as uh, long as it continues the way it has been, I don't have to worry about that. They also, uh, people who show you how to do this also sting you one time in the arm or the leg and then immediately scrape the stinger out. And you should sit for 20 minutes to a half hour uh, before any other stinging begins just to make sure that...